Okay, we're going to walk through creating this uh, stock Excel document. I'm really just picking stocks because it's kind of a short data set. It's easy to get online, like you don't need special access to anything. And uh, we can just play with the real goal here is not so much learning about stocks as learning about how to use Excel. So if you already know, this should be a piece of cake. Um, but we're going to explore this a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick some stocks. And um, I just created a document, which I will pull up. And I've given you some ideas. You're going to pick either two of these stocks or you can pick any two stocks you want. Uh, you don't got to write this down right now. I'm going to supply you with this list. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. So this is what I want yours to look like. Uh, you are going to fill in the basic information here. You're going to get this off the Internet, this data right here. Um, these we're going to calculate and you're going to create this graph and I also want you to format these cells in a very particular way so what I'll be providing you is this basic right it's all the stuff but it's not formatted so we're going to basically create I'm going to recreate this and we're going to walk through it so while you're doing yours you can play this video and if there's anything you don't know you just go to that part of the video all right, so you're going to put your name here, and you're going to pick your stock. I picked AEM, and the symbol is, uh, oops, my bad. This is the name of the stock. This is Agnico Mine Mines, and the symbol is AEM. And then I have a second, oh, this shouldn't be here. So I'll fix that before you get it. All right, so I have my name, the company. We are all going to invest $1,000. Note that that doesn't put a dollar sign there. And we're going to start January 1st, 2020. And we're going to find the start price and the end price and all the stuff we're going to fill in. So this is the part you got to start with where you're just picking a company. We all do $1,000. All right, so... When I format these, so I wanted um, your name to be bolded and centered, and I want this might be a long name, right? It might need more than one cell, so you're going to grab three cells and press Merge. And if it's not centered already, you can center it right here. And I want to bold that, and I'm going to bold this and center it. Okay, this is not bolded, but it's money, so I'm going to press this money symbol right there. That's a date. That doesn't look bad, but I'm going to go into this arrow here, and I'm going to choose short date, right? And it kind of left it the same. So this stuff we have to actually start looking up. Um, you'll notice, see how this is bordered? It's got these borders around it. So you're going to select all of these cells and you're going to go to format format cells border and you're going to pick outline and inside and then you're going to press ok and see how that boxes that off and boxes each cell and all this data we're going to look up so the way you're going to look that up is you're going to go to the internet and you're going to go to so I already have AEM stock here and you press year to date and we're not going to be able to get always January 1st because that might fall on a weekend so the first day I can get is January 2nd see how it says 60.81 so oops I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna put 60.81 and that is January so you can just fill these in right we did this before we want to use numbers for our months instead of the names and so when I'm on the internet using this see how I can just move my mouse so now I just got to go to each month so I'm looking for February looks like February 3rd is the first date I can use so that's 6093 
and I'm going to go to March, find the first day in March, and that's 5055, and so forth. And I'm going to cheat because I already did this earlier. Oh, 4824. I'm going to make that match. 48. I don't know what happened there. So I'm just going to copy these. All right, so now I have this. Now notice these are supposed to be centered and these are supposed to be money. So I'm going to choose all of these and I'm going to press the center button. And I'm going to choose all of these and I'm going to make it the money button. Okay. All right, so what else do we got to do here? These are all done. Oh, no. Start price. Start price is the first one on our list. 60.81. End price is the last one on our list, 68.80. I want those to both be money, so I'm going to select them both and press the money symbol. All right, now shares. Here's our first calculation. Now, we're not going to get out a calculator. We're going to let the computer do it for us. To figure out how many shares we could buy, you got to take your money and divide by how much it costs, right? And I put the instructions here. See, it says... The, the formula, formula F, is invested divided by start price. So what does that mean? Whenever you want to make the computer do a calculation, you press equals. So now the calculator knows it's or the computer knows it's going to calculate something. And I'm going to just press a thousand dollars. See, I can just click on it, and then I'm hitting the divided by button with my hand, and I'm going to click start price. So how much money divided by how much each one costs, and I press enter, and the calculator automatically calculates it. Now this is a number of shares. That's not money, but that's way too many decimals. I want three decimals. See, it says formula, three decimals right there. So this up here increases and decreases the number of decimals. See, that increased it. So I'm going to click back until there's three decimals. It rounds it. So all you're learning is how to make the computer do these things that are handy. Okay, so what's next? Value. What does value mean? That means how much it's worth at the end of the year. So I put in $1,000 at the beginning. How much is it worth at the end? Well, this is another calculation. We go equals. The amount of money I have at the end of the year is the number of shares that I own times how much it's worth at the end of that time period, right? I paid this price, but it's now it's worth this much. And I press enter. And if that shouldn't have been money to start with. So it'll look like that, and you've got to click money, and it'll fix it for you, right? Gain and loss. Well, that means did I lose money or gain money? See, I gained money. I made $131 and some change. But you got to make the, calc the computer sell it, so we're going to put equals. Now, how do I figure out how much I gained? You press how much I have now, and I subtract how much I put in to start with, and I press equals, and that's how much I made just from having it in the stock, right? Well, what percentage is that? I w like, I want to compute what percent. Um, the math is how much, it's this number, how much I made, divided by how much I invested times 100. But if you work out the math, all you got to do is click this and divide by 10. Here, I'll show you. The percent gain loss equals, right, every time I make a formula where the computer figures something out, I press equals. How much I made divided by 10 will give you the percent. Oh, see that was money? I don't want that to be money. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click general. Right? That's way too many decimals. Let's notch that back to three decimal. Or well, let's go to two. Did I tell you how many? Three decimals. Uh, so we got to go back here. And I need one more decimal place, so I'll click that. All right, this is looking good. This is everything but my graph. All right, now when I'm done, I'm going to make a graph from here. So I'm going to select this data. I'm going to go insert. And instead of a scatter plot, I want a line graph. So I'm going to click this. And I'm just going to choose this first one. Oh, I don't want that. Why is it giving me two lines? Hold on a minute here. Is 
That's annoying. Oh, we want to go in the scatter plot and choose the line here, right? So not not the one that looks like lines. Strangely, we gotta go to scatter plot and pick that one. And that'll graph it all out nice for you. So this is all done. I want you to go here, see where it says template, and you right click, and I'm gonna rename that AEM stock, right? Now you have to do a second one. So the way you create another one is if you right click on here, see this move or copy? You press move or copy, create a copy, and now see that little two? Now we're gonna put in a new stock. Let's say you picked uh, GM. So I'm gonna put GM, and I'm gonna rename this before I forget, GM. And basically I gotta change all, I gotta change these numbers, I gotta change all these numbers, I'm gonna delete this graph. Um, I could actually leave these in. See, that's the nice thing about formulas, is once I start putting numbers in, um, It'll calculate all this, but you can just delete everything. See, and that carries over all the basic stuff you did. So you don't gotta start at 100% from scratch. Now I'm here, and all I gotta do is go to the computer and put GM stock. And see, if it gives me the same thing, go to year to date and start picking off your data, okay? So when you're done, should look like this without all the blue stuff. Uh, the blue is just instructions to kind of help you understand what you're supposed to be doing. It has the actual formulas you're supposed to put in. And of course, this video should uh, clear up any questions you have. All right, that should do it. Um, be sure to let me know if you have questions.